Hello, this is John from WHMCS. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to configure and manage currencies in WHMCS. Our software has a multi-currency system, allowing you to bill clients in as many or as few currencies as you like. From the admin dashboard, navigate to Setup, Payments, Currencies. Here, you will see a list of all currently configured currencies, along with the option to edit them and add new ones. On a fresh installation, the default currency is US dollars. To add an additional currency, start filling out the fields beneath the Add Additional Currency heading. In this example, I'm using British Pounds. The currency code should use the three character ISO 4217 format. The prefix will be shown before the product price. This will most commonly be a currency symbol. The suffix will be shown after the product price. It's typically the currency code, but can be left blank if you wish. Next, we need to choose a display format for amounts in this currency. They control how numbers are formatted, and there are four different types to choose from. Finally, we need to set the base conversion rate. This is the value an amount in this currency needs to be divided by to convert it to the base currency. As one pound is worth roughly $1.40, we enter that here. Our documentation contains detailed instructions for calculating the base conversion rate. WHMCS can also obtain this value automatically, which we'll see later. After clicking Save, you'll see our new currency, GBP, has added in the list. Next, I'll show you how to edit an existing currency. Click the Edit icon next to the currency you want to change. This screen allows the values to be edited. In this case, I just want to adjust the base conversion rate due to regular fluctuations that occur in the exchange rate. I also want all our product prices to be updated using the new rate so that new customers are paying the right amount. After changing the relevant options, click Save Changes. In addition to manually adjusting the rates, WHMCS can automatically update the conversion rates using values from the European Central Bank by clicking this button. And again, it can update all our product pricing based on these new rates by clicking this button. Both these options can be set to run daily automatically in the automation settings. And you're done. Thanks for watching.